So what do biomedical scientists do? Well, they're usually based in laboratories, working in areas of diagnosis, screening, monitoring and research. And they carry out the investigations on the tissue and body fluids that I've already mentioned. Now, every year in the UK, they handle over 150 million samples. And it is estimated that over 70% of medical diagnoses are based on their laboratory test results. Now, without bi biomedical scientists, the diagnosis and treatment would be less effective. So biomedical scientist is a legally protected title. So to protect uh, public safety, anyone that uses the title must meet the Healthcare and Professions Council standards and be registered with this body. So the Health and Care Professions Council, or the HCPC, is the statutory regulator for biomedical scientists. So it is a legal requirement for biomedical scientists practicing in the UK to be registered with the HCPC. Now, completing an Institute of Biomedical Science accredited degree and a registration portfolio will lead to the award of a certificate of competence, which will enable you to apply for HCPC registration as a biomedical scientist. If you wish to study a biomedical science degree, Institute of Biomedical Science accredited honours degree will provide you the academic knowledge and training that you will need to work in biomedical science. Now you can study part-time or full-time with integrated and sandwich degree courses or offering lab placements as part of your training. And of course if you're lucky to be offered one of these lab placements they can actually work on your training portfolio during the time that, that you're there. But what qualifications do you need to actually study at the university? Well, you will need A-levels or equivalent in biology, but you will also need a GCSE in mathematics. Now, biomedical scientists need an in-depth knowledge of anatomy, physiology and pathology, which are all covered in an IBMS accredited degree. Now, if you plan to work as a biomedical scientist, you should choose an IBMS accredited program. If your degree is not accredited by the IBMS, any educational shortfall can be identified and your degree can be assessed. However, this means that you may need to take additional modules on an IBMS accredited degree course. So you may have to go back to university to study for a little bit longer. Now, the skills you will gain studying biomedical science are highly valued by employers and relevant to which career or the career path you take. So you will be taught um, observation, interpretation, data analysis skills, but also how to communicate in science, um, IT and statistics, time management, uh, project management and critical thinking. So what would happen after your degree? Well, to work for the NHS, we will need to become HCPC registered and complete the IBMS registration training portfolio. So graduates of an IBMS accredited degree will have to complete this registration training portfolio in an IBMS approved laboratory. Now again, you have the opportunity to complete this portfolio if you're on a sandwich degree. So you can actually complete it between years two and three whilst you're out on placement. After completing the portfolio and your degree, you can then apply to be HCPC registered. Once you are HCPC registered, you can start your career as a biomedical scientist. A degree in biomedical science doesn't restrict you to only working within a diagnostic laboratory. So biomedical scientists are in demand by a wide range of employers in areas such as the health service, pharmaceutical industry, medical research, food science, public health, the armed forces and forensic science. The degree is also accepted by many universities for postgraduate courses in medicine, dentistry and veterinary science. Now, graduates will also be ideally placed for 
masters and PhD programs and for research positions within the NHS and the NHS scientist training program. Now the transferable skills learned on the course will also open up careers in law, accountancy, management, marketing, finance, uh, the government, uh, communications and sales.